And welcome back. I'm Eric Sean. Time now for a Sunday House Call. And I'm Arthel Neville. Welcome. Joining us is Dr. David Samadi, Chairman and Professor of Urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and Chief of Robotic Surgery. And Dr. Mark Siegel, Professor of Medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center and also the author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. Good to see you both. Happy, Happy, New, Year. Happy and healthy New Year. Absolutely to you both as well. And so we're going to be begin today with new warnings about consuming too much sugar. A new study revealing diets high in sugar are a major risk factor for certain types of cancer, especially breast cancer. Sir, Dr. Samadhi, you're up first. How does sugar break down in the body? And talk to us about the dangers of sugar. Yeah, Arthel, it's a great way to start the year with sweet sugar. Obviously, our body needs sugar because all the muscles and cells, the heart cells, we need sugar in order to survive, but so is the cancer cells. Now, the purpose of this segment is not to really have a real cause. We can't, as of today, say that sugar can cause cancer, but there seems to be a strong association between taking a lot of sugar and, and, and cancer. How does it do it? When you take sugar, what happens is your pancreas is going to respond to it by sending insulin. You've heard of insulin. That pushes the sugar and into the cells so they can survive. Guess what? The cancer cells also have receptors for insulin and insulin growth factors. And now we see based on this mice study that they, it can lead to colon cancer and breast cancer. A lot of times when you take a lot of sugar, your liver becomes overloaded by this fructose overload. And what is going to happen is it converts it to fat because it can't take it anymore. You've heard of fatty liver and that's part of the problem. Your LDL goes up. And it turns into this belly fat, which by itself can give a lot of cytokines and inflammatory cells and can cause cancer. We know that in adults can lead to heart disease and stroke and everything else. But let me tell you what type of sugars we have that a lot of people don't know. You always think of sugar as this white powdery that you put in your tea or your coffee. Sugar is all over our life because you have fructose. Anything that ends with OSE, glucose, sucrose, fructose, all of those. High fructose corn syrup is something that the companies are putting in your food and it's contaminating us. This is like a drug. Your reward center in your brain when you have too much of that, as you see in the, in the picture, your dopamine goes up and becomes addictive. Just like drugs, you build tolerance and you want more and more. And that's really a very... This is really scary. Scary. This is like almost scaring me. But the, the fact it should, is... It should, Eric, it yes. should scare you. It should scare yeah. everybody because but it's a real toxic. It's a good warning. And Mark, I mean, does this have to do with just like you don't put sugar in your coffee, you don't drink sodas, uh, because sugar's all over the place. You go to, to the supermarket, you look up whole wheat, bread, some of that supposed healthy bread has sugar in it. Eric, what I want people out there to know, the right to your point, is we're talking about processed foods here. We're not talking about fruit and vegetables. People think that fruit is sugar, but fruit has fiber in it, which actually decreases your cancer risk, and it's got phytonutrients, which decreases your cancer risk. We're not talking about a banana here. We're not talking about strawberries. We're not talking about blueberries. We're talking about cookies and cakes. But I'm also talking about people who are sedentary which is what our problem here is in the United States. Let me tell you why that's important. Sugar is a fuel. Eric, even if you ate a cookie, if you then jogged for two miles, you'd be burning it off. <laughs> if you don't jog for two miles, what does it do? David alluded to this already. It turns into fat in your body. You get more insulin. You get more insulin growth factor. You get more inflammatory chemicals called cytokines. You know what those chemicals do? They lead to cancer. It's inflammation that causes cancer, and sugar leads to inflammation. Not only that, in the test tube, we're finding that cancer cells are greedy for sugar. They love it. They love it. But we've also studied starving cancer patients, and we found that that actually doesn't prevent the progression. So I don't want cancer patients out there to say, uh-oh, I'm going to go away from this show and stop eating. But we do recommend cancer patients, medical oncologists recommend that cancer patients have plant-based diets, protein, and healthy fats. Stay away from the processed well, sugars. It's interesting what you're bringing up because if you're a cancer patient, you want to stay away from sugar because Absolutely. what happens is the normal cells have both receptors for sugar and ketones. Cancer cells, they don't and they depend solely on sugar. So if you are diagnosed with cancer, you really need to pay attention to what you put in. Going back to what you were saying is, yes, it's not just the white sugar. You have it in pasta. You have it. Look at the labels in some of the cereals and some of the other 
other foods that you have yogurt. High fructose corn syrup is, is what the companies have put in because for years we said, let's go to low fat diet. And when you take the fat out of the food, it becomes like a you know, cardboard. It doesn't taste good. So by putting this high fructose corn syrup, and look at the labels. If you see it, not, don't give it to your kids because that's how they build tolerance. Is there a and number of it, grams you should look at? Well, I'm sorry, like in a label or something you shouldn't? Apart from grams, that's a great question too, but adding to that, if you would, Docs, you know, look, at the end of the day, people have sweet tooths. They want to have some well, sweets. So give us uh, some sort of guidance, especially he, this he, new year where people are starting a new Arthel, diet here's what, I want, here's what I want to say about guidelines. What can you eat? Well, and I want to start with the point David is making here, which is we used to say fats are bad for you. All fats are bad for you. You know what? We now have to add to that sugars are bad for you. So you're saying, well, what do you eat? If I can't eat fats and I can't eat sugars. reason you can't eat fats, things like bacon, cheeseburgers, all that stuff, has also carcinogens in it that leads to cancer. We're still talking cancer here. What should you eat? You should eat the Mediterranean diet that we've been recommending on this show. We're going to talk further about it later in the show. Fruit, vegetables, lean meats, broiled fish, stay away from fried foods, and stay away from all those cookies, cakes, processed foods, breads. I mean, I want that's, people to lose weight. I tell them to stop eating bread and pasta cookies. And you know what? It's also... That's basically, a it's basically everything that people eat. So well, no, at some point, no. this is what I'm saying. So, I mean, so, let's be realistic. So. What can fruit, people eat? Well, people you increase your fruit and vegetables. That's what you have to do. Well, the reason why fruits and vegetables work well is because they have the fructose, but it gets absorbed, and because you have the fiber, it stays steady in your system. So you don't get these high peak and lows, and you always Make crave you eat to eat more. What about I think what Mark is trying to say is that carbohydrate and sugar is almost we should think of it as fat. We don't think that. Yeah, that's right. But it can convert it because that's really important. What, you mentioned one thing, inflammation. What do you do about that? How do you reduce Well, that's that spare tire we're talking about that you don't have, Eric. That spare uh, tire. So, no, you know, that's the inflammation. We talked about it on previous shows. It builds up in your body as these chemicals, inflammatory chemicals that lead to cancer. So what can you get away from sugar? What you do you do if measure, measure your waist. Okay. It should be less than 40 inch in men, and in women should be less than 35 inches. Look for C-reactive protein, which in your blood, you can get that, the blood test. C-reactive protein is so, some sort of inflammatory process that's going on your body and going back to that hemoglobin A1C if you think you may be diabetic or pre-diabetic you can get your hemoglobin A1C less than 6% and guess this is another but one. But how do you think that if you don't go to the doctor if how you, would you think if you're pre-diabetic? If you get pre thirsty, if you're fatigued, if you're frequent urination, if you have tingling and you have family history of diabetes get that fasting glucose test which should be less than 100. If it's between 100 to 126 you're pre-diabetic over 126 is diabetic and I promise you I put all of that on my Facebook. What about so quickly a, a bite of dark chocolate? Well, ah, dark, now you're chocolate, talking dark chocolate stuff. has very, very good phytochemicals in it as well. They're really, really good for you. It has a little antioxidants. It's got some caffeine. But I, I want to say in a final point here, everything going together is this. It's not the sugar that's the problem. It's that it leads to the weight gain and the inactivity. If you combine the inactivity with the weight gain and a, and a processed food diet that's high in sugar, you're increasing your cancer risk. But it's probably the inflammation that's doing that, I, not directly the I, sugar. It's what I, the sugar's converted yes, to. Yes, but I also want people to know that there's a lot of hidden, just like we talked about salt, there's a lot of hidden sugar in your food that right, we want right, people to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You can do all the exercise in the world and you can eat all the healthy food. If you're not going to detect and read, read labels yeah. and reduce that, you're not going to lose weight. That's yeah. the key point. All right, good points. Uh, Very good. Great suggestion. Take a look at the sugar levels. Exactly.